Hi, I'm Marcel Blanche to Will and you can see Fat Wank at the World's End, six shows through March. Fat Wank, or Fast Punk, if you're fancy pants, um, is essentially a parody of theatre, okay? So, the high art then, the fancy pants, you know, when you walk out of a show that's so pretentious and you go, why did they do that? That's what this show is taking the piss out of, okay? Yeah, taking the piss out of pretentiousness, essentially. Right. I think anyone who's ever studied drama, or is in that field, or studied art, visual art, or English, anything where a teacher has told you uh, the subtext of the piece, oh, the, these men who are dancing the tango while juggling celery uh, that is on fire, while a bear uh, flies through the air, on a motorcycle uh, was actually a metaphor for you know the Russian struggle during the 1940s. Is just that that is that kind of wankiness. Anyone that's ever rebelled against the Year 12 English teacher and said, "What are you talking about?" Uh, or anyone that's ever been dragged along to a show like that, this just kind of celebrates wanky theatre and lets you laugh at it for a change. Um, I play a silent clown of a character who uh, starts the show um, completely white, so his face is painted white, um, and, and he's uh, going along with an adventure to kind of add colour to his canvas. So he runs into different characters who, uh, in some kind of way, offer him some kind of experience that is designed to enrich his life so he can become a, a better artist. So things like blood and cocaine and fairy dust and uh, all sorts of strange things, wine is thrown in his face and uh, Braveheart kind of war paint. Uh, everything, everything suddenly becomes part of his visage, all leading up to him learning a valuable lesson about art at the end. Who else in the show? Nathan Porteous, Todd Gray, uh, who are both, uh, were both the AC Arts graduates. Um, as well as uh, Natalia Slint, who's just joined AC Arts. So that's uh, a great kind of representation of, uh, of local um, you know, art students, which is fantastic, as well as Perez Eddy um, and myself, which is also awesome. Uh, and it's all directed by um, well, and Craig McArdle, who uh, was in uh, the award-winning um, Heroin, Heroin for Breakfast a couple of years back at the Fringe, and last year's My Filthy Hunt, so it's awesome to have uh, international um, touring uh, artist on board as well, which is awesome, and it's directed by Gray himself, who's not an Um I love anything that has kind of a special kind of personality. A big influence on me was um, the Hermitude of Angus Ecstatic uh, at last year's Fringe, um, which is put on by Slow Clap. Uh, they're doing another show this year called Truth. Uh, I just love them. Um, they, they just have this it was such a peculiar show, one man just essentially dancing about on stage, uh, doing strange things for you know, a 50 minute show, dance, physical comedy and character work, kind of like Mr. Bean meets postmodern theatre and I really love that, that was a big influence on the show, it really kind of showed me that um, anything is possible, even like a silly idea like that could become one of the hottest shows at the Fringe. Strangest shows, probably Freaking the Showgirl, um, just because it was essentially a combination of comedy and, and a lot of nudity, and and they really took the uh, title Freak uh, to the extreme. Um, that was probably one of the strangest experiences of mine, because I had to participate in that show. Um, but apart from that, I think my Fringe going has really kind of hit mostly the, 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 the less bizarre kind of shows, but I think there's always room for the more silly stuff. I would say I just love meeting people. Uh, I think it's fantastic that networking opportunity that comes with being at the Fringe. Um, you, know, you can go to the artist bar and meet all these wonderful people that have come together for the Fringe Festival. They're all discussing art and performance and everyone Everyone has that desire to perform, um, and, and everyone's so encouraging, which I think is fantastic as well. Um, there isn't too many diva types. I mean, the French Festival is just, you know, it is of course 
on the fringe of the Adelaide Festival with the more kind of um, established acts. And the Fringe Festival brings together those people that are aspiring to kind of be on stage and, and get their performance out there. And I think it's fantastic all those people gathering together um, to create this kind of encouraging and wonderful atmosphere. And that's why I want to keep being part of it. I'm going to be getting out on the streets in character, just making fun of myself just to get noticed. Um, I'll be in my, in my clown kind of outfit, silent clown for the most part, dancing about, just creating a presence. I think getting your brand out there in whatever way you can is, is great and, and being remembered for the right reasons is good as well. Um, just um, just being recognised is fantastic so when you are in a moment where you just uh, are flyering a mate at a pub or a cafe or something like that, they can take it and go, hey I saw that guy jumping around and suddenly there's that kind of recognition that you're the type of act that got out there and made an effort to have a presence during the fridge. My name's Marcel and you can see Fat Funk at the World's End, 7 o'clock between the 8th and the 10th of March and the 15th to the 17th. Six shows only and it's only 15 bucks so come along to the World's End. It's not far from the heart of Fringe and get out and take the piss out of high art.